BlackBerry Today, episode 21. It is all about BlackBerry 10 Live, hands-on, in our hands, down at IBM Connect down in Florida. Take a look and follow along. We've got the hands-on, everything you need to know. Welcome, everybody. It is BlackBerry Today, live from IBM Connect. So we're down in Orlando at their annual IBM conference. Uh, the first year it's called Connect. It was Lotus Sphere for those that know. Uh, two years ago or so, we did the Playbook big event here where we showed some cool features. And this year, we're a little luckier. A little bit. We're a little bit. Should we pick it up? Sure. Is, are we allowed to touch it? Do we need like a drum roll or something? Well, wait. You know, like... It's not this one. So this is the one you see on every episode that I do, right? This yes. is this. And where's your bowl? Do you have it sitting here? Yeah. We yeah. don't have it sitting here. The torch. BlackBerry 10. Yes. So everybody, we're going to show some live work. We got another camera down below, but let's talk about the announcements today first yes. before we do this part. Okay. You're up first. You right. always go. Right. So um, the first thing I thought was great was before they even showed anything, before they revealed anything, uh, the gentleman who was talking, and I forget his name already, was uh, he took a dig at the home button. Yes. Which I appreciated. No There's home no button. home button. Nothing. Which I think is fantastic because what often breaks on a phone of another carrier <laughs> or another uh, yes. device? The home button. Another so, device? Do we yes. have to say another device? Another device. And Some I, other devices. I, something. I don't have one here on the desk. Uh, yeah, so no home button, which no. is actually interesting. And as you'll see, it's kind of like Playbook Mini ish. Actually, so, the back of it is look kind of playbook. It's, it is playbook. So I'll mention that they talked about the back, so how it's that. not your normal plastic. Yep. Right. They talked yep. about uh, specially made yes. for their devices. And, and so it's comfortable. That's what they talked we'll about. We'll show right? it in the so close up in a minute. Comfortable in your hand, which yes. it actually is. Like they weren't just saying. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I, I tweeted from the BlackBerry Today account moments before I said, "Is the blinky red light still there?" It's still there. Blinky red light. <laughs> for those that are addicted to the blinky red, the still blinky there. red is still there. Uh, there's people that live on that. I want to know though, remember we had the app for the multi LED thing? Yes. We'll have to find out if later. If that still works. Multi LED. Update for because it. we had the whole, what was it, B Buzz and LED? And yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could change, you know, the different people would be different colors right. and different stuff. Yeah. All right. Okay. So um, we'll show some of these things, but they talked about the Blackberry Peak which you can kind of slide between applications and take a little look and see what's there before you just you know flip over to it. Oh. Um, the BlackBerry Hub, which we both said is you know, a lot like the activity streams, right? So everything all in one place. If you want to see your Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and all that stuff. Your head would explode. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm playing around with stuff now. Know, I'm not paying gone. any attention. At him. this point, I'm done. Him. That's fine. This is how this okay. works. So I'm Vanna today. Yeah. Van, we'll call me Van. Yes, yeah, TBI candy. I'm the eye candy today. <laughs> um, so one thing I'm totally excited to show on here is the keyboard because there is no physical keyboard. Okay. We'll show the, the virtual keyboard. We'll show it's that. Really cool. All right. Uh, they talked about BlackBerry Balance. Okay. So that's where we have the two different profiles for your personal and your enterprise. Yes. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, and then video chat. We'll talk about video chat. Share. By the way, we're live. And so we're people live. walking yeah, behind us high. means nothing. Just great. ignore it. Um, we showed, oh, they showed the camera and the time shift and all of that. So we'll, well that know. one we can't demo. So let's talk yeah. about let's okay. talk about some right. of those because yeah, that won't demo well. To, right. Okay. Um, let's talk about first the BBM up update. So we had BlackBerry Messenger. We had the normal text yes. conversation. They yes. added voice. Yes. So that's in the current BlackBerry. We had voice. Then they added this one, video. Video, which is a lot like your playbook, right? If you've got the playbook, right. you can, have you video can calls. chat with each other, video, but now you can do that on your own. Then they blew well. you away on the demo, and then he goes, but wait, there's more, oh, screen share. So, so I'm screen sharing share, the Not device. just like a screenshot, but a screen share, where they showed, you know, one user was, you know, flipping through photos, going, oh, look, here was my trip to London or whatever. Here's the sales proposal. And the other proposal. person was seeing it flip by on their screen. So that was really cool. That one was amazing. That was really cool. Uh, camera, both front and back. Yep. So we've got both cameras running. Yeah. Uh, I like the resolution of the cameras the, as well. The camera resolution looks great. They showed their uh, photo editor, which looked pretty good. Photo editor was great. Had different filters and all that stuff like you would expect. Yes. And then they showed the time shift thing. So they, I, I'd heard about the time shift, but I actually saw it. It was really cool. It took a live picture uh, of a, a gentleman, and then you know he was kind of blinking and you know whatever. And so they can focus in on his face and sort of flip through and pick which moment in time of his face to use in the entire photo. It was really cool. Right. So these that are okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, so then That's they cool. talked about apps. Do so you yeah. Do you want to dig into stuff or you want to? I'm doing do? both. I'll you know what okay. I'm going to show the camera because we wanted to show one the quality of the camera. So this is a live shot. We'll show it. 
there's there's Hi, Morgan. There's Say Morgan. Hi. Morgan's <laughs> so he's there. So we'll, we'll we'll cut to it. But the cool part about it was was the quality of the camera and the view. I know we're looking yeah. at a camera into in a, a camera, camera, but the quality of this is absolutely stunning. What's the pixels on the back? I will ask why. Uh, eight meg eight megapixels. So. Oh 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 no! That. The other big thing about the tap anywhere to take a photo. Really? Yeah. Let me do that again. Tap any, no, that's to, well, yeah. So, and then you can move the focus. I right. want the focus up here. Okay. And then tap anywhere to take a photo. That was hot. I love that. Okay, so that one's on there. We saw that, okay. Yeah, that was cool, I that like was, that. I like that. Sorry, I'm glad I, see, I look where I took notes. Um, apps, do we want to jump to apps or we want to go back up and get the stuff we missed? Um, let's go back to the stuff we missed. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Okay, go. Go? Go. No. Oh. Uh, what, uh, what do you want to, oh. And yes. Rim became Blackberry. Yeah, they talked about that. And they, they you know what? They snuck it by though. No, they didn't. That was a big thing. There were signs all over but, the map. <laughs> but people hear the name so much that See, I don't people think. People already thought it was Blackberry. They already thought it was Blackberry. <laughs> I talked to a lot but of people that go sense. go what research it. Um no they what was the thing? One brand, one promise. One brand, one promise. So you know I like right. it. Let it me... shows, you know, we're trying to come together and I liked it. All I liked right. it. Okay. So what are you gonna show? I think we should talk about the difference between the enterprise and the personal space. Okay, yeah. We're here at IBM, so we're here at IBM Connect. Uh, BlackBerry now. I don't even have to say RIM or Research in Motion anymore, I guess. BlackBerry's back. What'd you do? Uh, as a major sponsor. <laughs> Nothing. Back as a major sponsor. And one of the things down here that they focus on is the enterprise integration, right? How they work. Now they're going to support oh, Traveler on BB10. There was a session on that. So doing IBM Lotus Traveler on BB10. But difference between, before you switch, is, well, that was good. She did. I'm not going to show it. I don't even have to edit that in because she switched too early. The ability for the device now to have the personal versus the enterprise space between the two is enormous. So what you're able to do, now we'll cut to the camera. There's a choice at the top. Go ahead and switch back for them. Is choose between personal and business. So now you have two different areas of a device that are segregated but have a little bit of cross between. Uh, we talked a little bit about that before we started. So the ability for you to move some data or some choices if your administrator allows, like an app, to be available both personally and business and no cut and paste from work into personal. So you've actually now segregated two, two pieces of the environment into one device. That's huge for an enterprise to get their hands on. If you guys have ever debated what your next device should be for the enterprise, you've gotta be looking at BB10. You have to. With Protect, with Balance, and now with this ability to switch back and forth, it's absolutely ridiculous that you don't look at the, the BB10 stuff. Or should we say BlackBerry 10 because that's their name? Go up and over, there you go and we're playing around with the new hub. So she, we'll go back to the live. So the ability for you now to actually go to the different stuff on the uh, environment and swipe back and forth, there's an up and over ability for you to go to the new hub. So we're looking at here. So that, that's, that's a bit of the peak thing, right? Yeah, so a, you can just take a little look-see at what else is there right. before you actually flip over to it. Right, like and, that. And one of the things that they demoed, and I, you know, I don't know it, as we've just gotten our hands on the device today, five minutes ago, um, I'm not sure, but they like started a video and they showed, and like the playbook, you can cycle through and the video's still playing in the background. Right. Let's see if we can do it. No video, see? So, well, that's what it is. So, <laughs> what he's able to do those go up and over. So, while the video's playing, what you can do? But, right, yeah. There you so go. You can, they show the actual video still playing while you go and look at other stuff, you know, answer an email, whatever it is you need to do. And a lot of the apps are now native to the OS, meaning like the Facebook integration, the work he was doing, remember that? Mm -hmm. He actually brought up the Facebook and was able to say, oh, here, now I'm actually integrating and working with Facebook without having to jump to another app. It's part of my stream. So, the hub was a big deal. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I did want to go back. We were talking about the uh, personal and the, yes. the corporate. Keep going. Also, so there's not only differences in what applications might be shown, right, personal versus work, but also something that crosses both worlds, like BlackBerry World, right? Yes. It needs to be available in both, but it may have different things inside of it. Yes. So if your corporation has not allowed, you know, whatever, then that's there. And then also uh, they can have corporate specific. I don't know if you saw it when I went in there, you were talking about something else. I, I flipped in here, but there's a tab, a button for company apps. Nice. So let's come down a little bit so they can see the top. There is an app in there. There's the app at the top, so you can see that. And you'll see the reflection and, you know, it's live. We don't care. Now, another thing you should point out is some of the apps are app world, but some of the apps are on the device. So we're talking about Skype. The Kindle app is the, you can get. The, uh, there's a lot of new launches they talked about that are there for the device and ready to go. Dropbox was on there. Of course, Box was big with Playbook. I that was there as yeah, well. Let me go over to oh, she's mode. going back to personal mode, yeah, as you just saw. So that's also cool is you just jump between profiles on the same device and notice the difference in the apps that are available that are sitting here. 
that's huge for a company to say, I don't want your personal data anywhere touching it, which we used to see before with the old, like the torch and stuff, yeah. right? Yep. Okay. Yep. And uh, you'll also notice I'm doing everything with my thumb. Yes. One thumb. Yes. Not two thumbs. Uh, let's get to the typing. Okay, typing. Speaking of thumbs. People are asking about the keyboard. So we'll go back to the camera for a second while she brings it up. People are asking about keyboards. There's two devices. We have the one with the virtual keyboard and the one with the physical. We don't have the physical on hand right now, but the virtual keyboard is slick. It actually has the learning behavior built into it, right? So if we go, oh, I, what? I'm trying to find a place to type. Hold on, stop. Type wherever you want. Make a document. Docs to go. There you go. So the beauty part is, is that it now starts learning, of course, your behavior, predictive text, but you're able to throw text onto the screen, which we're going to do in just a second. No? No, I was just... I could to... edit that. <laughs> Never. All right, here we go. So we're going to start typing. Right we'll jump now. down the camera. There you go. So as she's typing the words at the top, so you'll then see... So you can see, like, the thanks... To... Come up a little closer. Well, there you go. There we go. So you can see the thanks over the H, because I already typed a T. Yep. So if I wanted to say thanks... And then maybe four, and look, the F already says four. Now, so show them the screen. Wait, no, I want to do it this way. I'm going to say, thanks for coming to the event. Okay. I want to see how easy that is. So, thanks for... Mm -hmm. Type a C first. C, and then what happens? Oh, coming. Yep, look coming. It's already there. Right. Oops, it's Oh, it I jumps a letter. Up. That's oh, right. I messed up, but look, it's still a choice there. Coming. Coming. Two. two it's already there. V. E. V. It's shown under event. Event. It's there. there you go. So you just typed a six-word sentence by oh, we typing a couple letters the and then throwing it. But that's okay. but, well, they'll get the idea you were throwing the yeah, words yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So you just typed a six-word text just by throwing your thumb up onto the screen. Yeah, like five Predictive thumb text. Yeah. I have to say, and we'll bring it up because we cross-compare. So those are available and know about SwiftKey on Android. Same type of idea. It starts guessing and predicting your text. You're seeing it here on the screen. It's predicting what you're going to type. And with a simple thumb, you never leave the one part of the screen. You're throwing text up into there. And I, I snuck it in while you were talking. Yes. I did the double space for the period. It's still there. It's the still double there. space is still there. I thank. It's still there. I don't know who to thank at RIM for that, <laughs> BlackBerry. But thank you because on every device I have, I still double tap things and there's no period. I do it on my laptop. I get this. Yes. <laughs> I do the space bar of it. No, nothing. You get nothing with a double tap. Yeah. Okay. So we've done the text. What else? Here, you hold this. Let me check what else we got. We did the camera. What do we, what else, in what we need? In case we need to show more. Let me show, you know what? While we're sitting here, I'm going to show the hub one more time. And you so starting about, at the you, bottom of the screen, I swipe up and over and look, there's the hub right there. Notifications, yeah. whatever you want. And I never leave. So I go back into the hub. I've got email messages. I could give, uh, Facebook integration. I can have all sorts of things. Even though we can't like demonstrate oh, BBM, just show them what BBM looks like. Oh, okay. I can do that too. Because yes. it looked a little prettier. You know. You think so? There's I BBM. I thought it was a little prettier. Oops, no entries. Well, that's harder to demonstrate, isn't well, it? Well, we'll compose again. We'll show them the compose. There's not it's set not up on set this up. one. Okay. But the BBM integration, we can't. That's one of the things we weren't connected with this device. It's a test device. Yes. But this is where we have the new screen share and everything else. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, and, and even though we can't demonstrate it because we don't have one in our hands yet because it's not going to be released as quickly, they did show the physical keyboard device. Yes. We didn't talk about that. Right. Oh, text messages are here. So we could have done a text too, but there's mm -hmm. Compose. Same thing as everyone sees. There you go. Two, it'll read your directory and address book. It has emoticons for those that are for those that must have emoticons. Well, you gotta have emoticons. Well, people are funny about emoticons. You gotta have emoticons. Some, can you segregate out emoticons with the company? We're asking the BlackBerry people in the background. Because some companies hate emoticons. Yeah. All right. I would well, think you'd be able to. I mean, you can pretty much control everything else. So. Right. So there's a good question that, you know what? We threw them off, and I'm glad we were able to throw them off because I, we do that often. He All just right? said, I'm not sure. He wasn't thrown. <laughs> no, I mean, it's one that it's like something someone wouldn't ask now, but I, a company right. will yes. go, right. we don't like emoticons. Right. Um, we don't want our employees to show oh, smiles. One thing they showed that I, I think we don't have enough yep. data to, to show on here, but they showed the the I'm not sure if it's under the hub title. Okay. But all I, I guess it would be because all your stuff is together. So they showed you know if I'm here and I open up my contacts, it'll show me like who's in the area, and then I could click on them. Say I wanted to know you know about oh. Morgan. Yep. It won't just show me his phone number and email address, right? Yeah. It'll show me his LinkedIn info. It'll show me Facebook, uh, Twitter, all that stuff all together together in one spot, which I thought was a little bit stalkery. Like, you know, I don't want to walk up to Morgan and be like, hey, so I know you went to whatever college and blah, 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 and you got your degree and, you know, nice. <laughs> whatever, but it's still kind of cool, so. All right, one thing that they did show um, that we can go back is uh, 
Story Maker. Oh, I know what else too. Okay. Yeah, okay, you can Because we're down to our final can, four minutes. Okay, talk about Story Maker. Story Maker. Story Maker is here. Story Maker, they showed on live. We don't have to go through the whole demo. But the idea is that you're able to choose media yes. and create stories right yep. on the device. Yep. So you could take pictures and video and put them together and then you could pick music to overlay it and it created your own little story. Correct. And then you could share that story. And I liked is the filters for the camera now mm -hmm. are on the screen with your thumb. So if I want to see what a filter looks like, I just yeah, swipe they, up and yeah, down the picture. Yeah, you could just pull That's it up like hot. halfway down. Uh, so the other thing we forgot is okay. the other thing we forgot, ironically, is yep. Blackberry Remember. <laughs> Oh yeah, Blackberry Remember, yes. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of neat. You know, it was like voice notes, websites, um, Evernote, email, whatever. You could all throw it into a Remember folder. I so just then, created a story. Perfect. I'm sorry. So I'm then everything would be together, yes. right? So maybe you know we were going to plan a vacation. It was their example, and so maybe you saw an email somebody sent you about your vacation, and you went to a website that was about the resort to stay at, or whatever. You could throw it all into that Blackberry Remember and find it all together in one spot. That was hot. Including with Evernote, which that I thought was, was kind of cool. Uh, time shift, we need to talk about it. We've talked we about talk it before. About it. Did we talk about time shift? We talked about time shift. Okay. Well, while you know what you I did? You were looking at the device while I was while talking she was doing about the news, time shift. While she was doing the news here on the side, what you just saw was the actual story play. I'll yes. embed that into the yeah. video. Cool. Okay. Uh, what else I, you got? I think that's it. That's it? Lots of apps. We talked about, right, Skype and Dropbox. This is crazy. And uh, Kindle app, right, they said. Yes. And um, WhatsApp. Oh, yeah. Well, we already have WhatsApp. We'll show killing devices is easy. Just clicking the buttons. Yep, yep, yep. Anything else you want to cover? So what do you, oh here, let's do a size. We'll hold it up. So oh, yeah. old torch two, touch screen, new device. There's your size difference. For those that are looking if, for it. If you wanted to know other device comparison. Should we, this device, we don't even know what it is, but it has well, a pretty I case. I don't know what it is. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Blackberry 10. And then this big. way, you can't well you can't really They'll see it. See this way, there you go. It's uh, about wider. Yeah, you gotta do it that way. Nice. So you guys get a size comparison, thickness, easy to hold. Um, well designed. I really like it the is. case. I like everything and, else. And port on the top. Oh, we'll do it down here. So, port on the top for everybody needs to know. Power button on there. On the side is your rockers. Good to go there. Lock in the middle. Nothing except the charging on the bottom as we'd expect. And then the uh, side ports on the side. There you go. Anything else you want to talk well, about? As I said, the typical Blackberry, Blackberry fashion, I feel like it's a device. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's not a flimsy nothing, but uh, it's got nice weight without being I'm glad heavy. you didn't throw that. <laughs> <laughs> just so everybody knows. It's just a demo. I can just <laughs> throw it around. <laughs> so we want to thank IBM down here at IBM Connect. They gave us the space to use really quick. We want to thank BlackBerry now. Gosh, I don't, I don't have to say Rim anymore. We don't have to say Rim, yeah. I want, want to thank, thank BlackBerry, Blackberry for actually allowing us to take the 15, 20 minutes, get hands on you with the device. You know what we never did? What? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. So he doesn't know. We, this is, it's just a tradition. We start every episode. No, we'll have to end our episodes that way. We'll end our, no, we'll have to start still, but yes. Connect 2013. Um, that's it. That's all we know. Everybody, this will be up. Uh, again, we'll have more hands on later on. When we get devices, the shows will lean a lot towards BlackBerry 10 for a while uh, as we explore it more and more and, and more. And this will be available slowly over the next couple of weeks, depending on your carrier. Depending on your carrier and your location in the world, because we have a lot of yes. international viewers, yep. a slew of international viewers. Uh, but you'll be able to get your hands on the device soon enough. If you have questions, you know what to do. 443 BB today. You can send a tweet to at BBerry today. You can you can email us at bbtoday at spikestudio.com. Uh, you can jump on Facebook and like us on our page there. You said be Barry today. Be right? Barry For today. Twitter? Yes, okay. and what else? YouTube, YouTube. Facebook. Oh, of course. Subscribe to the playlist on YouTube and Facebook. Subscribe. I'll put the button right here. Facebook us, whatever else you need to do. But reach out. We love viewer tips. None this show. This is all about BlackBerry 10. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we will see you again in a few weeks. Bye.